For a reprieve from Australia's soaring property market, you're in luck. Most experts say the bubble is finally bursting with new data showing house prices dropped at the end of 2017 and they're tipped to slide even further this year. We'll bring in now property expert Robert Claric to explain more. Rob, good morning to you and happy good new morning. year. Happy new year. Tell yeah. us how prices were looking, median house prices across the country at the end of 2017. Well, it was an interesting last three months. We saw an adjustment in the marketplace, especially across the major capitals. And there was a there was a decrease across the national mm. property prices in the month of December. What, what do you reckon they're sliding, Rob? Well, I think it came to a point that it's been so strong. The market's been so strong. We know we've had a seventy percent increase mm. in the last five years. So there's, there's an extended boom period. Mm. Uh, there's plenty of news around about house prices this morning. Yeah. Uh, Fairfax papers are talking about uh, the fact that it would probably last about 12 to 18 months, the downturn. Is that where you see things heading? Look, I, I see the, the fact that it, it's going to start to taper off, which is what's going to happen for 2018. Mm -hmm. I see it being probably an extended period. I, I think it's a good two to three years before we will see any significant further growth in any of the property markets. Would you say there are areas that we should probably avoid, do you reckon? Yeah, well, avoid's probably... We've all got to live somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I always say you've got to be cautious in any property mm. purchase. But certainly picking the out-of-area suburbs of places, especially Darwin, especially in Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane, mm. key, key areas, closer into the city is going to be better. Mm. Further out, if you're 20, 30 kilometres further out of city, out of those cities, I think you've got to be very, very cautious about purchasing mm. properties in those areas. Well, most uh, areas sort of flatten out over yeah. the next 12 to 18 months or so. Are there some areas that are still going up that are still increasing? Yeah, well, the, 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 the real success story has been Tasmania. You know, the little sleepy island of Tassie has caught up with the property prices, and so it's been the last 12 months they've seen significant growth. Very, qu very quickly, your predictions for 2018, okay. you were spot on this time <laughs> yeah, last we year, were. so tell us what you got <laughs> in your crystal ball. But I think we got it right. <laughs> um, the reality is the first six months of this year, we will start to see slowing and the price is probably coming back. Uh, the second six months of this year, if you're a buyer, that's the time that I think that you will see some real great buying opportunities mm -hmm. in the major city capitals of Australia. So good chance for the home, first home buyers to get back into the market and actually hopefully buy something at a reasonable value. I think that would be most welcome yeah. to Australia, Rob. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you very Happy much, you Rob. Guys. You too. All right.